because just as uh, there is a big tiger in China. Your, your country's policies or strategy is that it's pragmatic approach to things. It's saying, let's all work together. It's an inclusive approach. Uh, that uh, everybody is working towards a, uh, a single goal uh, through this roots uh, and, and the belt. The role that China plays today in, in the world, as I told you before, the trade relationship between uh, China and Latin America is much greater than the United States. And so, hopefully, they will be more competitive, more productive, more diversify, because just as uh, there is a big tiger in China, which I respected a lot because I have seen China change in the last 35 years since I came over here the first time. We also have a big condor in Latin America. And if we, are, we have the predisposition to learn from each other, we can be a lasting partner in trade and economic growth in culture and learning about each other. Your, your country's policies or strategy is that it's pragmatic approach to things. In other words, it's saying, let's all work together. It's an inclusive approach. It's an inclusive approach, and it's approaching things through the reform mode rather than a revolutionary one. It says, let's do reform, because reform is in, tends to be more inclusive than revolution, all right? So they is actually, they're very, 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 very wise. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing to have a leadership like that. It is to, uh, to connect uh, the regions that used to be connected through the old uh, Silk Roads. Uh, so the idea is to bring this region together. I'm a historian. Uh, I, I study actually the, the Silk Roads. Uh, that's my topic. So I was very happy that it was reconnecting of the world uh, is something I think is quite important. I think that's the part that no one nation is important. Everything is connected. And that's the aspect that I like. Uh, that uh, everybody is working towards a, uh, a single goal uh, through this routes uh, and, and the belts. I would say it's not just one belt and one road, it's uh, more belts and more roads that are interconnected. Uh, so that in interconnectedness is what I like. I mean, there's a lot of conversation going on right now about the, you know, the slowdown of China's economy. You know, it's, it's, uh, the press is talking about it, but I think one one of the things that we fail to look at is how large the economy is already. So, you know, growth, the, 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 the volume, uh, there may be a slowdown, but in terms of value, the value is still increasing. There is still growth, and growth on a very large uh, base number, right? So, I just think it's a... It's, it's a you know, the economy is moving into a mature stage. It's not declining. And I think that because of that, then there's a need to look for uh, other markets. So I think China will basically export its growth. You know, will we'll, we'll still continue to grow in terms of manufacturing. Um, and we welcome that because we want to now grow our manufacturing. So we want to welcome these partnerships um, where we can create jobs, you know, we can create opportunities for our, our, our communities that are unemployed. Um, it, it's, it's, I think, a win-win.